we bet that you won't like him very much when he's in a bad mood. As a result of his massive body, Sajad Jaribi has become something of a phenomenon on the internet. His extremely strong body has even drawn comparisons to Marvel's The Incredible Hulk, with admirers dubbing him the Iranian Hulk because of his stature. These comparisons are based on the fact that both characters have large muscles. Standing six foot two, Grabi is tall, weighs an astonishing 28 stone, mainly muscle, and has acquired over 450,000 followers on Instagram. His body composition is primarily that of a bodybuilder. And now, according to David Feldman, who is the head of the BKFC firm, the 27-year-old will be fighting bare knuckle in the coming year. Feldman was quoted as saying, this guy is going to make his bare knuckle fighting championship debut in early 2020 by MMA fighting. We are going to put on a show called USA vs. Iran World War III. He's figuratively and literally our most significant acquisition to date. However, he's going to make his way over to bare knuckle fighting championship. He's going to find a home here, and we're anticipating really very big things from the Iranian Hulk. Before going to the gym and doing weights, Garibi always eats a hearty English breakfast to provide him the energy he needs for his workouts. Get to know the man who has the potential to be one of the most talked about athletes of the year 2020. He makes everything look small. Garibi can make even the most common object like a can of Fanta or his iPhone appear to be of insignificant size. In point of fact, he derives a great deal of pleasure from posting pictures on social media of himself engaging in mundane activities while they look to have a comedic quality, such as drinking a beverage while texting. And you really ought to see him attempting to get into a car. When you're this big, the amount of calories you consume every day has to be enormous, and Garib is not the type of man who skips breakfast. He's always sharing pictures of his food on Instagram, and his favorite thing to eat in the morning is a full English breakfast, often known as the breakfast of champions, which he drinks down with an energy drink. If you follow him on Instagram, you'll see that he does this frequently. In addition to this, Garib consumes a large quantity of fruit, fish, chicken, and milk throughout the day in between his many workouts. Garib has devoted his entire life to the gym, and as a result, he's only knowledgeable about one thing lifting huge weights. On his Instagram profile, he's a tribute to powerlifting. He often posts video snippets and still photographs documenting his workouts. You might probably guess that the weights he's lifting aren't exactly featherweights either. Lifting kettlebells isn't going to make you that amped, that's for sure. Back in 2016, Grieb stated that he desired to assist in the fight against ISIS and join the Iranian Armed Forces in order to combat the Islamic State in the Syrian civil war. Voici what he had to say in a passionate video. To begin, I want to state that I am a patriot who is fighting for my nation. My heroes include General Soleimani as well as each and every one of the martyrs and the selfless people who devote their lives for our country. We owe the tranquility that currently exists in our country to them. For the rest of my life, I will serve as a soldier for my country. The second reason is that after Ramadan, I hope to start up my training again and obtain my objective, which is to be in good enough form to be of service to my nation in two or three years," the speaker continued. And it would appear that training with firearms is part of the package, as he was not shy about posting with pistols on his Instagram account. Garibi is actually quite malleable in the middle. It's clear that he adores children, as evidenced by the fact that he recently exhibited Baby Hulk for his followers. And as a result of his sudden rise to prominence, he's become a national symbol for the Iranian people, and he frequently travels to hospitals for youngsters in order to provide them some much-needed cheer. In addition to that, he has a fairly profound mantra for each one of us. He once wrote that people should stop judging others in order to meet composure. Now that this is over, we have a more relaxed feeling. Strongman Sajid Garibi who catapulted to stardom on Instagram with photographs of his extraordinary body and films proving his feats of strength, has an air of mystique to him. After a rocky road through other combat sports, the Instagram celebrity known as Iranian Hulk will make his debut in the sport of boxing on Sunday night in Dubai when he takes on the Kazakh Titan. There's still a sense of intrigue about him despite the fact that he has a big following and has been featured in a number of high-profile newspapers and television shows all around the world. 
He amassed close to 1 million followers on his Instagram page by posting photographs and videos in which he displayed impressive displays of power as well as the big muscles he's possessed. On the other hand, there's never been a moment when the 6 foot 2, this superweight who weighs 385 pounds, has manipulated his images to make himself appear to be in better form than he actually is. Fans sometimes make comments about his image, making fun of him and making jokes about Photoshop, but he doesn't typically respond to these claims. These days, he's better recognized for the wild postings he's made on social media and for his many failed attempts to go into the realm of professional combat. He started talking about the possibility of a future in combat sports as early as the summer of 2019, and he was revealed as signing the bare-knuckle fighting championships during the fight night between Artem Lobov and Jason Knight in November. However, a few short months later, the world was thrown into confusion and events were halted across the world. This had an influence on all sports, including bare-knuckle boxing. In the end, he was never able to make his debut in the promotion because, according to David Feldman, the president of the promotion, there were suspicions that he hadn't been accurate in his images. Mirror Fighting reported the information. Feldman revealed in March why the promotion never materialized and why there was a breakdown in communication with Garibi. The fact that they weren't given guarantees that he was genuine caused the talks to come to a dead end, which provided additional support for the contention that he doctored his posts on social media. After some time, he decided to contract with Boxstar, a celebrity fighting league, which had recently made a subdued debut in Manchester with a white-collar boxing event. At the time he was competing in Manchester, they wanted to step up their game with a spectacular spectacle, so they scheduled a fight between the Iranian Hulk and Martin Ford, a British actor who's recognized as the world's scariest man. The fight was originally scheduled to take place in the beginning of April but was postponed until the end of the month so that the participants on the card could have as much time as possible to prepare. The two super heavyweights were scheduled to compete against one another in the main event of the same event. The football icon, Patrice Evra, was scheduled to meet the YouTube star, Adam Sala. However, things started to go awry when Ford and Garibi met in person in Dubai for a pre-fight event. This was the moment when the event went off the rails. It became immediately evident that the Iranian may not be the man described on Instagram, whereas Ford was a genuine giant of a man who sent him flying with a push after their face-off got too close for comfort. The unfortunate event caused the Iranian man to become overcome with emotion and he later claimed that his family had deserted him because of his frailty. During an emotional breakdown on Iranian TV, Hulk stated, I cannot contact my family. When I returned to Iran, I didn't go to my family. Hulk had not visited his family since his return. I am unable to communicate with either of my parents, but when I did speak to my mother, she told me that the individual in the video that she had seen was not her son and that her son is much more resilient than this. When I'm able to communicate with my loved ones, it breaks my heart. I've been humiliated, and as a result, I am ruined. How can I possibly explain this? They tricked me, and as a result, I fell to the floor. My relatives have told me that you will go there and put an end to him. They anticipated that it would be the other way around. How can I get to sleep? How can I get some rest? I, too, am not feeling well, and although I have been unable to sleep, I'm now taking medication to help me fall asleep. How is it possible to overlook anything like that being said by a mother to her offspring? There's a lot of pressure, and if I got paid to do it, even just a dollar, I wouldn't be able to continue doing it. In the end, Ford decided not to continue with the battle, citing concerns about the mental health of his opponent as the primary justification for his decision. He had a height advantage of six inches over his opponent, Iranian Hulk, and gave the impression that he'd been actually practicing, in contrast to the Iranian Hulk, whose scant footage showed him performing at a very low level, even by celebrity standards. He was a major favorite. And when the contest came to a close, the Kazakh Titan defeated the Iranian Hulk in his professional boxing debut by dropping him and stopping him in his tracks. On Sunday, the Iranian Hulk made his long-awaited debut in the world of combat sports as he faced off against the heavyweight competitor, the Kazakh Titan. However, the social media phenomenon was only able to last for one round as the Kazakh Titan knocked him out in a matter of a couple of minutes. The Kazakh boxer, whose true name is Jumanov Almat Baktovich, started off the fight by landing a heavy body shot on his opponent before following up with a powerful left hand. 
The Iranian Hulk buckled under the pressure and even turned his back on his opponent, allowing the Kazakh Titan to rain blows down on his head. He didn't let up on the assault, and in the end, the referee had no choice but to stop the fight so he could declare him the winner by knockout. The intended competition between the Iranian Hulk and bodybuilder Martin Ford did not go ahead because of scheduling conflicts. After seeing his opponent sob at an emotional press conference, Ford decided it was best to call off the fight and give them both some time to recover. Ford stated that there were problems with payments to the organization, but that these problems were neither here nor there. Therefore, we have a confluence of four or five different occurrences that have taken place. Even after everything that has taken place, he still wants to engage in combat. On the other hand, it seems as though he believes that we are capable of staging a fight that would not necessarily be as real as an actual fight. Assuming that he's accepted the fact that something similar will not occur, we can claim with certainty that his management was acting in a highly suspicious manner. When we got back to the UK, I viewed all the tapes, and during one of the interviews, he was seen crying on television. Because of the backlash he received on social media and the fact that his parents publicly disowned him, I had to call the organization and tell them, I can't fight this guy. I don't want to be responsible for this kid being bullied to the point that he took his own life because that's the only way it could have ended, the speaker said.